Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So we're here today with a Case 450C and she's got no bite. <laughs> so the cutting edge on this is pretty much worn out and it's already been flipped. So I've got a new cutting edge. And let's we'll see if we can't get this thing to the orthodontist and get it some bite. Okay, so we've got the blade up in the air. And you can see now a little better how badly this cutting edge is worn. So let's look. This is the first look I've had at the bottom side of this. And it doesn't look like it got into the mold board. That's good. A lot of times these things will wear so much that they'll start wearing the actual blade. And that takes somebody that's uh, got some serious welding and fabrication skills to fix that. So let's go ahead and secure this blade up so it can't come down. And we'll get changing this. Okay, so I've got a chain going from one side of the blade over the hood and around the sweeps and then down and have a load binder here. Okay, and that might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm pretty confident that blade can't come down now. Okay, so here are the new cutting edges and all new bolts. And then we've got the little end bits. So this center piece is 64 inches long just under that actually but the big thing is if you want to look at how much wear it has this is six and a quarter inches wide and the one we're replacing is down to actually just under four inches so yep it's due let's start getting this old cutting edge off and we'll get the new one on Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is get rid of some of the dirt and crud up under this to get to the bolts. There's the nut. Luckily, these center ones are all exposed. But anyway, so I'll, let me clean this off and I'll get right back to you. Okay, we're kind of pointing right up in the sun, so I'm not sure if you can see that well or not. Well, let's see if this uh, impact gun will take these off. Okay, unfortunately, our impact gun did not budge those. So let's try the angle grinder. All right, so we're back. Didn't have much luck with the grinder, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this three quarter inch impact socket on this. And of course we've got the big hose, the air hose, so this should be able to run it and we'll see if we can spin any of these off. Didn't have any luck with it the other day. So we'll see what we can do. Okay, so this is the one I ground on a little bit. Let's see if we can get these off. And uh, these are pretty corroded. There we go, it came off. Ha, ah, nice. And like I said, I don't care if they come off or if they break off. And as a last resort, I don't have a cutting torch, but I'll try and take a plasma cutter and cut them if I have to. Here's the first bolt that came out. Okay, and I guess that's gonna be good. The uh, nuts for the new ones are bigger diameter than these are, uh, I think they're 15 16ths. So I was afraid that wouldn't fit, but these are gonna go in perfect, so good deal. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of these out. So the nuts are just a lot larger nut. Wow. That thing is almost sharpened like a knife. Worn down a bunch. Okay, so we'll see if we can get this these next two out. And it broke it off, which that's perfect. Okay, so this is the last one, and the last one broke, and I don't really care if they break or unthread. I just want them out of there. <laughs> Yep. Hang on. Okay, go. Hey, that did it. Here's 
the old one, and here's a new one to go in. So, I think it's probably about time to get them replaced. <laughs> wow. Quite a difference. These bolts have all this mud in there. So I'm gonna use this McGraw needle scaler to knock that off there, see if it works. Pretty slick. So let's see, this is, there's two more of them up here. Okay, so these are usually used to knock slag off of a uh, weld, especially with a lark welder. But they work pretty good too for getting this uh, caked on mud off there so I can get these bolts. All right, well, we've got all of the bolts out that we can. So all of these are actually loose, but then the bolt started spinning up here and the, this piece has a square cut out in it. And the, so it's like a carriage bolt and they start spinning. So what we think is we're gonna wedge something under the edge of the cutting edge to lift it up a little bit to hopefully keep it tight in that square and then we'll try and hit it with the we'll go ahead and try and hit it with the impact gun and see if we can get any more of these spun loose and the best way to do this is probably a cutting torch which i don't have so there's one of the square holes but i think what it's either rounding the square out or it's rounding off the square that's on the bolt but we'll see what we can do right here yep supposed to be square and it is very very round and very very sharp okay well we tried a couple different things to get these uh, bolts out of there and I wish I had a cutting torch which I do not have but we've got a plasma cutter so we're gonna try and do this with the plasma cutter and see how that works so the trick for this for me uh, is to make sure that I don't drop any of this fire on myself <laughs> So we'll see if this will Okay, I think it's gonna work, but I need to turn my helmet down. Okay. This is gonna work perfectly. But I got to get some better, longer gloves, and I got to get a helmet that's not as dark. This is the lowest it turns down to is nine, and I can't see nothing on nine. You're supposed to use at least a five on arc cutting, so we'll see what we got.
You got a piece of leather upstairs? Yeah. Or that fireproof blanket. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just burnt the shit out of my <laughs> chest. I tried to leave. All right. Okay. That open the rest of the way. I can't push it, push it back over you. The rest of the way. There. Okay. Is it still recording? Yeah. Yeah, cutting torch is the way to go. But I'm going to have to figure out something where I'm not laying under it. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, when you can see, which I can now with that new helmet, yeah. it's a hell of a lot easier to do this. <laughs> yeah. But I just basically had to erase that whole bolt <laughs> or nut. But I never got into the parent metal, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to do. <laughs> okay, I gotta get situated just like this for each one though, so I'm not. Uh, yeah burning myself okay. okay so I've done two of these now with the plasma cutter and the first one I just cut one side of the nut and then the other side of the nut and then popped that off with a chisel and it came out the second one I just went and just basically sheared off the whole bolt through the nut and that was a lot more work so I'm gonna try to keep just doing two sides of the nut what I don't want to do is get into this parent metal of this blade of this mold board uh, but I haven't done that yet so I'm going to see about trying one more time just go through the nut. Because mostly because it took like half the time. <laughs> No, it's turning the whole thing. Okay, okay but that's okay because now I can do the other side of the nut from the same position. We still recording? Uh, yeah, I see the red light flashing. Yes. Okay, okay so let's get this other side. So doing the two sides of the nut is definitely the way to go. Get some powder in the shoe. Yeah. 
shoot but but so really I didn't even get into the bolt too much so uh, let me see the camera and I'll show them a close-up okay so there is the so there is the mold board and that plasma is not getting into it at all so that's the way we're going to do it and we're going to cut i'm going to try to keep cutting two sides of the nut instead of just slicing off the whole bolt like you would with a gas torch eyeballs you good yeah i'm good i'm good Okay, so this Harbor Freight fireproof blanket that's used for welding, uh, turns out it's pretty good for a spark and heat shield. <laughs> I burnt my arm, uh, and then I also burnt my chest one place where I start, first started, which probably a lot of it was my fault from laying too much under it. But uh, yeah, Patty got this for us, and uh, it's coming in handy. <laughs> It, but it's still just spinning on top so Well, the problem is I cut the nut, but then it kind of welds itself back on there. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> Be careful not to drop any of that on your rubber hoses. It's, oh, yeah. See that? Well, look, we got a little grass fire going. Yeah. Right there. Oh, it's pieces of the metal. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of that sulfur or whatever they always have in the, <laughs> the war movies. Right. It just keeps on burning. Again, didn't touch the mold board, so it's kind of amazing because <laughs> I'm just getting as close as I can pulling the trigger. <laughs> okay, so this one's loose. This one I never even was able to loosen the nut at all, so it might be a little more trouble because I also can't spin it. I might have to go under there and shoot that way with it. Let's see if I can get this without moving. 
actually I'm gonna move because I've done work myself a couple times, it ain't fun. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got everything loose. We do. Absolutely. So there's the old cutting edge. And so now we just have that little one to go. And I've got one bolt in that that has not been loosened or anything because I can't get a socket up in there. Part of the back of the mold board bent over it. So I'm just gonna take the plasma cutter and cut that one all the way out of there. This is the last bolt we've got. And because of this piece here on the mold board, I wasn't able to get a socket on that to get it to really turn with the three quarter one. Uh, I put the half inch impact on and it didn't really do anything but it rounded off the nut. So this one we're just gonna have to wash that whole nut and bolt kind of out of the way or away. So we'll see what we can do. said it I'm sure a uh, oxyacetylene cutter would maybe work a little bit better but I was able to just kind of wash through those uh, bolts and not mess up the mold board behind it which was you know a pretty critical thing now then I think I'll get some leather sleeves I did burn a, about a dozen holes in my shirt and a few of them I felt on my skin <laughs> yeah he, he burned them pretty good okay that one right there hurt <laughs> <laughs> all right so what we're going to do put you up on a tripod and we're just going to drop in these cutting edges and uh, put a couple bolts in them and I'll put all the bolts in and tighten them all down. Okay, I'll just drop this first one in. Throw a couple of bolts in it. Throw a couple nuts on there. And then, uh, this is the back side. I'll put lock washers and nuts on those. Okay, so now we'll go through with the impact gun and torque them all down. I think about three second ooga oogas. <laughs> So I've got everything snugged down. I'm gonna wait for the air compressor to build up and give everything one more hit. 
there was a turkey buzzard flying around above me a minute ago circling <laughs> like he thought I'd been here too long. <laughs> he said he done set himself on fire, he'd be cooked. <laughs> Take all the safety measures out. Okay, so here's our jack, which was our secondary safety. And we'll undo the chain that was the primary safety. Okay, so we're gonna take the chain off of there. It was just a safety chain, but to make sure that the blade doesn't drop as we're doing that, I'm gonna start it up and raise the blade all the way again to charge the hydraulics, make sure that it doesn't drop when we take the chain off. Thanks a lot for watching we sure appreciate it if you like the video drop a like and we definitely invite you to subscribe to see more so that cutting edge we purchased at boyd equipment and it was 340 dollars came with the bolts the two end bits and of course the middle section so our little case 450 she's uh she's getting put together so the next item will be to change all the fluids. I've got all the filters already. When I bought it, the guy gave me all the filters for it. And I do have to rebuild this cylinder. It's funny, when it's down, it doesn't leak near as much as when I pulled it all the way up. So anyway, hopefully there's no damage to that rod. It doesn't look like it is, but that's going to have to get done pretty quick. So appreciate you watching. Have a great day and be safe.